Pennsylvania is home to a number of indigenous snake species, so it's important to know which you can approach and which you should just leave alone. Fox 43's Robert Stover spoke with a local reptile expert in Lancaster County and shares what to do when encountering one in the wild. What started as an ordinary bike ride through the woods resulted in Jesse Rothacker being bit more than 50 times by a wild snake. And you can see in the video I'm laughing a lot every time he bites me because I know he's not trying to hurt me. Luckily for Rothacker, the snake wasn't venomous. The way that milk snakes explore is with their mouth. And so milk snakes, they don't have a powerful defensive bite. They just will slowly grab on to everything that they're curious about. Rothacker's video on YouTube is just one of dozens that show his work with wildlife in Pennsylvania, specifically with snakes and other reptiles. We want them to do something like enjoy the snake, appreciate the snake from a safe distance, and that's less likely to end up with a bite. His recent YouTube video is a demonstration about what not to do when encountering a snake in the wild. And when he's not being bitten for the camera, Roth Hacker travels across the Commonwealth to educate others about how to treat nature with respect. We started doing outreach right, right in 2004 when we started Forgotten Friend, and now we get to do hundreds of shows every single year. Now, as people get outside to enjoy the summer, the likelihood of finding one of these little guys is pretty high. So it's important to know what to do if you come across one. The best tool you have when you meet a snake is a cell phone in your pocket. Pull the rectangle out of your pants. Take a picture of the snake from a safe distance, five or ten feet away. Pictures can be sent to Rothacker or other reptile experts who can identify the snake and determine its level of danger. A link to Rothacker's original video, including more information about Forgotten Friend, can be found on fox43.com. Robert Stover, Fox 43 News.